Hey everybody, welcome in. My name's Amanda and this is The Connected Conduit. Um, we're gonna sort of do a timeline reading for you today. So I've pulled three cards and I've chosen the one that is your highest timeline intuitively. And then we're going to kind of, yeah, just see what comes through. What messages wanna come through today for your greatest and highest good, as always. This is a general reading, so you have to use your discernment and discretion while accepting messages, okay? If something doesn't make sense, that's okay. You don't have to accept it. You can leave that for someone else, okay? Also, you guys, um, I'm really excited to announce that I am offering personal readings. So I offer two types of readings, mediumship readings or intuitive card readings, Okay, so a card reading is just like what I do here. I kind of just open up and I read intuitively and it's a way for you to receive messages, support, guidance, clarity. Okay, I do not do predictions. That's really important for you guys to know. We can look at potential outcomes and things like that, but I do not do predictions for many, many reasons. Um, and mediumship readings are completely different from card readings, right? So in a mediumship reading, I would connect with your auric field, with your energy, and invite a spirit communicator to step forward into my awareness. And then I would bring through information about that spirit communicator with you to prove who has stepped forward. And then once we've de like determined who this communicator is, then I bring through a really nice beautiful, positive, supportive, healing message from them to you. Okay. So yeah, if you guys are interested, you can shoot me an email. I'll put my email in the description box below, but please beware of scammers. It's really, really bad. You guys, um, I'm using my email until I can get like a, a website up and running. So I will never reach out to you. Okay, I will never email you first. You have to take the initiative to email me and then I will email you back. I will never email you. I will never call you. I will never send you a message on Instagram or Facebook or I will never be in a chat room or TikTok or I won't, no, never, okay? Um, so protect yourself, protect yourself. Alrighty, and um, yeah, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Okay, let's see what's come out. I've already pre pulled some cards here. So we have share your voice. Yeah, come out of the cave, persecution expression you guys this message has been coming up a lot because it just has my spirit guides have been coming through um repeatedly and getting me to say this to the collective i believe i said this yesterday in one of my readings about that it's time for people to just put themselves out there okay it's time for you to just do the thing do the dang thing even if you don't think you're ready you're ready even if you're afraid, you can do it. Um, it's time, okay? It's time. Even if you feel like it's not perfect, who cares? Who cares? It never will be perfect. Just do it anyway, okay? Or perfect Perfect will come, come as you go. <laughs> It'll get better as you go along right? So the days of being persecuted for sharing your voice or your opinions are over. And, um, you know, a lot of us have come into this lifetime with past life trauma, you know, a lot of us, a lot of us light workers were silenced back in the day, or we were called witches, and we were burned at the stake, or we were imprisoned and things like this. That's not going to happen this time, okay? Because I feel like you have some really beautiful wisdom to share with people or you have a gift whatever it is the world needs it so come out of the cave express yourself and then we have third eye chakra clarifying that card so 
you have some sort of psychic wisdom, psychic knowledge. You could be clairvoyant. Okay, you have something really spiritual to share here. You could help awaken people. Sorry for the background noise, you guys. My window's open a crack because it's such a beautiful day and the kids are not in school and they're out in the front screaming their heads off as they should be. Okay, so card two is no. Wait, postpone, pause, say no. And then we have choose wisely options. Interesting. So for some of you, there could be an option that you're saying no to or you're having a difficult time making a decision. So you're postponing making a decision because you, you're confused. So we'll dig into that in a minute. And then we have trust your path. Mm -hmm. Trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? If money wasn't an option, if there were no limitations, no barriers, if you had, you know, if you released fear, what would you do? What would you do? Because clarifying that is the ace of wands, passion ignited. It's like this is something that is lighting you up. Okay, so I feel like you have some sort of a passion, some sort of a desire, like you, you're inspired, you want to create something. But there's a part of you that's afraid, you're afraid to come out, you're afraid to share your voice, your wisdom, your knowledge, you're afraid to maybe put yourself out there. And so there's, I feel like it's you, I feel like it's you stopping yourself from putting yourself out there from getting the ball rolling stopping yourself from taking a leap a risk and i feel that it's 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 fear but your highest timeline the one that i was drawn to was trust your path Right? So I don't look at them, I lay them face down and then I just use my intuition and this was the one. So <clears throat> it's like you have a choice here. You have a choice to say no, to put it off, to step back, to stay silent, to stay in the cave, to stay hidden in hermit mode or come out. Come out, put yourself out there, take that leap of faith, go after what lights you up and trust, trust your path, trust that you will be supported. So it's up to you, right? We all have free will here. So <clears throat> let's get some advice for the collective on this wait, postpone, pause, say no card. The Page of Pentacles. You know what I'm getting is that you may feel like you're not ready. Like you're just at a page level. I'm not good enough. I'm not ready. It's not perfect. I don't have enough information. Okay, it's something like this. But the Divine saying, no, like you are ready. Even though you're at a pa page level, that's okay. Because you're always going to be learning, growing, evolving, and expanding. And you're going to align and resonate with who you need to align and resonate with, right? So don't worry. There are people out there who, who need what you have to offer, okay? Even if you think like you don't have anything to offer, that's, that's not true, you do. And I feel like this is very much like self-sabotaging behavior, okay? Five of Swords. It's like mental, overthinking, competing against your ego, okay? There's a bit of ego here. Like, I want it to be perfect, or I want to look a certain way, or... But the thing is, it's like, people are going to be drawn to you for you, regardless of the level that you're at. And we all have to start somewhere, right? And some people find people who are gurus to be really intimidating 
right? And so sometimes people are more aligned with someone who um, doesn't come across as like a star or a guru or somebody really high up because those people can be, yeah, very intimidating. Do you know what I mean? So you're needed, you're needed and you're perfect. Just where, just where you are, just how you are, okay? And you have something very valuable to offer. Okay, can we get one on the third eye chakra, please? Oh my gosh, you're, you're magic. You're a magician. You're a miracle worker. Look at you. Look at you. The third eye and the magician. Hello, this is very, very spiritual, very powerful. You don't even realize the power that you have, okay? You have a lot of power and you're just starting to tap into it. I just saw 1101. You're just starting to tap into it. It's going to slowly unfold. You're going to develop and get better and better and better. So sorry about the kids. <laughs> It's funny though how it says share your voice and the kids are out there screaming. So I think that's confirmation. Share your voice. Um, the magician is about embracing your own personal power. It's about knowing that you have everything you need within you. You, you don't lack anything. You have everything already inside of you. Everything you need is already within you. And all you have to do is tippy tap inside. Tippy, tippy, tap, tap. And use your intentions. Right? Intentions are magic. Words is spelling. Writing things down is spelling. Right? Okay. So you're extremely powerful here. And your intuition is powerful. There is something about you having past lives where you were persecuted, okay, for being some like a magician or um, a witch or a healer or something, but those days are over. So it's time to like release that trauma. Trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? Ace of Wands, something new, something that lights up your soul. Oh my God, it's going to lead to abundance, wealth, and the Ten of Pentacles for you. Look at this. Look at this. If you trust yourself, if you put yourself out there, if you believe in your heart of hearts that you are meant for success, if you come out of the cave, you're going to have stability, security, generational wealth, everything you ever wanted in the 3D world. Like this is a lot of money, okay? A lot of stability, abundance, wealth, health, family, fun, good food, traveling, businesses on the up and up, okay? It's gorgeous, you guys, gorgeous. So trust, trust that the universe has your back, that you are loved, safe, protected, and supported. Follow your heart and your intuition. It's not going to lead you astray, but fear will. Fear is a low vibrational frequency and you don't want to make decisions based off of fear. Okay? You want to make the decisions based from trust belief okay trust and belief this is beautiful you guys this is what i have for you it's just going to be a quick little energy check-in and um the kids are really ramping it up out there and i gotta close my window i think they were quiet until i hit record right? It's like Murphy's Law. Murphy's Law. What's some advice um, that could be very helpful for you at this time to help you manifest your dreams? Overrate. Overrate your intuition. Oh my gosh, it's a card about intuition. 
Look at that collective. And we have the intuition third eye chakra card out. Look at overrate your intuition. It's a number two. So don't underestimate what you can do. Don't underestimate the power of your intuition. Don't underestimate what you're receiving and the and your intuitive knowingness. Don't underestimate your psychic gifts. Don't underestimate your psychic abilities. Okay? You are powerful. These cards are unbelievable. It's time to come out, okay? It's time to come out. Take those next steps, whatever those next steps are. It could just be even the smallest little thing like reaching out to find a mentor, asking someone how to start a YouTube channel, or go onto YouTube and click or type in how to start a YouTube channel, or maybe you need to create a website for your business, or look into some sort of program on developing your gifts. Whatever it is, after you get off of here, after you click off this video, do something. Take some sort of action towards your goals that you have been, you've been receiving signs, synchronicities, and guidance, and you know in your heart of hearts that it's time to take action here, okay? And your intuition is correct. Your intuition is on point, and you can trust yourself. You can trust that you're being led and guided in the right direction. When you follow your intuition, your gut knowingness, and your heart okay that is so beautiful i'm getting like a lot of tingling around my crown so i feel like your crown chakra is really opening and developing at this time and your gifts are just gonna keep going up and up and up and up and up so now's a really good time to find like if you don't know how to work with your gifts reach out find a really good mentor okay maybe i should start offering some sort of a program <laughs> for how to develop your intuition. Oh, see, there's a little drop, a little nudge from spirit I just got. They were like, huh? Eh, Amanda? Huh? Eh? Like, oh yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe I could, I could do something like that. See, okay, you and I, are, we're both gonna like, we're both gonna do this. Here we go. Um, I'm part of the collective too, right? Okay, you guys. This is what I have for you. Um, thanks for watching. And again, if you are interested in booking a reading with me, whether that is a card reading or a mediumship reading, um, you can shoot me an email and I will reply back to you with some information about the services I offer, what you can expect, how much they cost, and things like this, okay? Thanks so much, you guys, and I'm sending you all the good vibes. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.